Got a new loot crate in the mail today. Oh, don't look at that number. <laughs> and look at their super nice fancy black boxes. Usually they're kind of like that gray color, but now they're all like professional and, and meaning serious business. Now this month's loot crate is supposed to be um, more video game high school geared or themed. I don't know what that is. I know it's like a series of videos or something, right? On YouTube, maybe? I don't know. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to like what's inside because video, I mean, I should watch Video Game High School. It has to do with video games. I love video games, but I'm not such a big fan of school. My high school experience was pretty much hell. That being said, though, I think I would kind of like a video game high school. So, yeah, let's see what it's got. First of all, we always get this card. This card has a breakdown of up oh, on the side of what's in the box. I don't look at that until it's over, until there's something I don't know what it is. Um, because it's spoilers, you guys. First of all, I just opened this box and already everything I see I'm in love with. Look, this is just what I see when I open the freaking box. Hell yeah. First thing I'm going to grab is whatever is labeled Star Wars. These are Darth Vader earbuds. Oh, shit. This is awesome. I don't usually have to, I usually can't use earbuds because my, ear, my ears are so small. They don't fit. Except for the new iPhone 5 ones, those are perfect. But you know what? I'm going to force myself to wear these because they're Darth Vader. He's so cute. And according to the card, they came in di several different versions. There's Darth Vader, Yoda, Darth Maul, and C-3PO. Glad I didn't get Darth Maul. You know I'm not a big Darth Maul fan. I know. He's the greatest Star Wars character ever. No, he's a really cool sci-fi character, but I didn't think he was very Star Wars-y, if that makes sense. Um, I would have been happy with Yoda. And C-3PO, he's a cool guy and all, but when it comes to droids, I'm more of an R2 girl. Next up in my Varsity Loot Crate is an Iron Man Pez dispenser. Holy crap, I used to collect these when I was younger, and I still have a pretty good collection. Comes with lemon candy, raspberry candy, and orange candy. Of course, raspberry candy is where it's at. While I open these up, it seems like these came in different as well. Um, you could have gotten Captain America, eh. Hulk, cool. But Thor, you could have gotten Thor. I guess Iron Man is my second favorite. Thor, though, you guys know I do love me some Thor. And no, not just because it's Chris Hemsworth. I actually don't find him that attractive. I mean, he's a good-looking guy and all. I'm not a muscle kind of girl. I don't like guys with muscles. But uh, I just like Thor. Pez dispensers are funny, too, because when you get the candy, it's like you're kissing them. My first kiss was probably a Star Wars Pez dispenser. Mm-hmm. I love these things. Next, freaking awesome Sonic, Sonic Breeze air freshener. I keep getting so many air fresheners. I've got the Mega Man one. Now I got Sonic and Yoshi. He's Sonic Breeze. I want to tell you what that smells like, but I usually put these stuff like in the packages when you guys buy signed prints of mine, like cosplay prints. A lot of times I'll slip little goodies like this Sonic air freshener in there for you. And then I've got video game high school buttons or pins. No, these are buttons. Kind of like... um. Badges. Oh, like Boy Scout and Girl Scout badges. School of Force and Fitness. I would not ever get this badge if I went to video game high school. I hate working out. School of Adventure and Discovery. I would definitely get this badge because I love some adventure and I love exploring, especially in video games. I will explore every single little nook and cranny of an open world game or even just a linear game. I'm one of those people that just loves exploring. I would get this. School of Arms and Marksmanship, I'd probably get this. Have you guys seen the targets I've shot, like when I've actually gone shooting? Um, I usually shoot handguns 22, because they're really light. Um, but I'm a damn good shot, so I'd get this. School of Speed and Control, for you racing fans out there. I would get this, but not in a good way. I'm not your typical shitty woman driver. I'm just your typical asshole driver. It's probably why I get along so well in LA traffic, because I'm an asshole driver. <laughs> Lastly, School of Tactics and Strategy. I probably wouldn't get this badge. I do love strategy games. Um, just usually my strategy isn't always the best strategy. 
<laughs> so this one I wouldn't get so much. And I got a video game high school emergency wireless keyboard, which is just a number two pencil. Also a Stormtrooper video game high school sticker. This is awesome if you're a Star Wars and video game high school fan. I'm a Star Wars fan and you guys know I have a crazy, insane fetish for Stormtroopers. But a Stormtrooper in a little high school varsity jacket, still kind of cute. Also a rocket jump sticker. I don't get this reference. This must be for you video game high school people out there. That's why I consult the card. Let's see. Rocket Jump Vinyl Sticker. Video Game High School is just one of the epic projects coming from Freddy, Brandon, and the team at Rocket Jump. Oh, it's their logo. Oh, now I feel like an asshole. Lastly, to fix my problem of never seeing Video Game High School, they included the first DVD of Season 1. Now I'll actually get this stuff. I'll understand. Wait, did I see this? Now I'm kind of thinking I did. I recognize this screenshot right here. I thought this was a movie. I didn't know it was a show. I saw it on um, Netflix. Yeah, there was like that kid and he came in and like, then there was that guy who's really good at shooters and he was dating the hot chick of the school. And he was like, I'm doing really well kind of by accident. I just stumbled into being really good at video games. And then the guy who I think was like the fatal fatality type of character, the douchebag guy. And he was like, um, he's like, Man, I'm gonna beat you, and you're not taking my girlfriend. But then at the end, of course, the nerdy guy that just stumbled into being really good got the girl. I saw that. I saw it. It was a. Uh, it had some really good moments. It was a. Uh, it had some some good funny funny bits in it. In fact, I was watching it with a friend who doesn't play a lot of video games, and every and now and then I'd be like, ah, you get no, you don't get that. And then I'd kind of have to explain the joke. But yeah, video game high school, you guys. Check it out. Make sure if you guys want a loot crate of your own, which also enrolls you in the Mega Crate, um, which is an even bigger box of even cooler stuff, go to lootcrate.com slash Rachel. Get your very own loot crate in the mail every month for only $13.37. Get it? Okay, it took me actually a few months to get that. Make sure you send me pictures of you and your stuff. This month, you guys send me a picture of you and your earbuds. Which Star Wars earbuds did you get while eating out of your Marvel Pez machine, dispenser, whatever. Which ones did you guys get? Let me know. Tweet me pictures. Twitter.com at the Rachel. And until next time, I totally love your face.